anything is going to happen, Kate. I don't know. <laughs> <Freaking butt hangers. coughs> very Sucks. typical. Very typical for anime. So here's to hoping that we get. Oh, sorry, Clucky. Oh, little CJ. Yeah, I just little CJ. In the head. Yeah, little CJ's in the in the Kate's lap. Under yeah. the blanket. Yeah, under the blanket. Anyway, there she is. There she is. Hello. Hey, pretty. Wrath is on the battlefield, and he is pissed. And it's looking like he may very well be about ready to lay the layeth the smack down on Lon Fun and Ling. Hey, Wrath is pissed? No. No. That wouldn't make any sense. Jesus. So, all right. I guess let's uh, go ahead and He just... really doesn't seem pissed ever. He seems very yeah. calm yeah. all the time. Another thing, too, is how are they able to sense the, the homunculi's presence? I don't know. Don't know. Guess we'll have to see. Hmm. Uh, maybe it's because of... I think I might know why, but I'm not going to say anything. Oh, okay. Anyway. I think you might know why. It's like, no, like he's watched this show before. <laughs> All right, let's go. Mm. Oh, she's hurt. Oh! Holy nice. shit! Remove the top of his head and his hands. Of course, that's not going to kill him. But it'll disable him for a little bit. Mm. Oh! Damn. Ribs. Broken. Not good. I can just hear gluttony. He's just like, I like to tenderize my meat before I eat it. <laughs> Do you, you practice that? Question. No. <laughs> that ought to hold him. Nope. No. Nope. Uh -uh. by the draft. If you had it just disappeared without saying a word, it would have been fine. Now he's not going to be able to... He won't be able to escape. He, he, he can't use the blind spot anymore. Because... Yeah. Well, the Fuhrer... I mean, now that he knows the Fuhrer's secret, he's not going to let him live. Of course not. You be a good little girl, okay? Take care of things while we're gone. <laughs> Scripting doctors. Aww. Watching Mr. Hughes leave that day was like the last time I saw Mom and Dad. Hmm. It seems they're after that guy who's been killing off state alchemists. No. Shoot! There you go. You believe you were doing God's work then, too. You stole what little life she had left. Foolish as you are, you must still have known that Camara could never have returned to her human state. <laughs> we knew that Nina would be sent off to live in a laboratory. We didn't want to think about it. So we did nothing. But do you remember two Amestrian doctors named Rockbell? Oh, no. Those doctors saved your life, and you killed them! Oh, man. What are you talking about, Ed? They helped save you. And you killed them. Give me back my mom and dad, you monster! Oh. Winry. Winry, hold on. Oh, boy. Oh, I know that. You're asking Winry to make a damn near impossible choice here. I mean... Nobody's really asking her to make a choice. I mean... Does she give in? I mean... I think she... she will. I mean, the man killed her parents. Yeah. And her parents helped heal him. It's kind I of mean, one of those things just... where everybody wants to act like the right thing to do in that situation is not to just pull the trigger. But, like, this dude's literally a mass murderer. Yeah. Like... Regardless of I really don't revenge, think anybody everything. should blame her too much if she pulls the trigger. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. It's just... I guess we're about to find out. It's just, just, does Winry put that mark on her soul? I mean, like, when you kill someone, it doesn't matter if, you know, it's, you know, you're pulling the trigger and you're doing that. It's just, 
it changes you. Like anyone who's ever. You want to say it doesn't matter, but I feel like it matters to an extent. I think the circumstances matter. Well, I think the choice has to be with Winry. You know, she's choosing to act right now, and whether or not she shoots him, you know, whatever choice she makes, the consequences are going to be vastly different, no matter what happens. You have the right. Uh, Either way, we would be justified. You know, to be honest, she doesn't have what it takes to pull the trigger. I don't think so. <laughs> She's one of those type of people. She's too good to be able to. My right arm deconstructs. My left arm reconstructs. Your brother is the only one who can stand against the state alchemists. He could find a way to annihilate the military. The threat to us would be ended. <laughs> kill them before they can kill us. You don't even see the evil you're creating! Bombardment. That's fucked. It's like literally women and children too. Jesus Christ, man. Yeah. This science causes nothing but destruction and slaughter. These are my research notes. If anything happens to me, I don't want my research to have been for nothing. You will survive. <gasps> that's that guy that's in prison. Mm-hmm. Look at his hands. Kimber. He's a state alchemist. Where's my brother's arm? Oh man, he's about to do something metal as fuck, isn't he? He puts his arm on. You noticed his arm is transplanted. I have to keep fighting. You aren't well enough to move around on your own yet. Somebody. No. No. What is going on here? Oh my god. Vengeance begets vengeance. Shoot, girl. But no, the moment you pull the trigger, there's no going back. You will be my enemy. Scar! If you think I'll let you hurt one hair on her head! Will you kill me? Don't shoot! Get back! Kitty. Ed, you idiot! <laughs> he tried to kill you and help too, Ed. But I couldn't. Why not? Because <laughs> you're a good Remember person. Remember in Rush Valley, you delivered that baby. You saved two lives. You weren't meant to kill. They are meant to give life. Some heavy shit right there, man. Mm-hmm. This is one of the heavier episodes in terms of overall impact. The, I mean, Winry having to confront the greatest pain of her life and having it stare her right in the face and just and for her to make that decision I mean I wouldn't have blamed her if she did shoot him but at the same time I'm glad she didn't Mm -hmm. I mean that's the thing and there I hate to say it but there are decisions out there where there is no right answer no matter what you do there's always going to be consequences and Winry, I think the consequences of her not shooting him will benefit her more than if she would have shot him. Unless because, it kills more people. Well. Including people close to her. Potentially. But the future is unknown. I mean, Scar, Scar's dealing with a lot of baggage too. And he's, let, he's letting vengeance win in his mind. He has a fucked up past for sure. Yes. And and it's literally like one of those situations where like I feel bad for him and yeah. Like obviously he's chosen the wrong path to take his frustrations <clears throat> out. Like he should I don't I don't know what he should do, but like the path to redemption is never an easy one. Mm-hmm. Especially for someone... Just like, who, a, almost even more for him, there's almost no right answer as to what he should do. Yeah. Because, to an extent, what he's doing is, like, understandable, but it's fucked up. And that's the whole thing, is, like, in those situations, is like, you seek out the ones responsible, not the ones that were only like a part of something through no choice of their own essentially 
I would, and Scar, I would say, you know, him. It's like it would make much more sense for him to be hunting Fuhrer Bradley and, like, the, the specific guy. douchebag. Yeah, that well, Kimberly just, blew Kimberly. up his whole family. Yeah. 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 Kimberly. Rather than just every alchemist ever. Well, flawed logic, and honestly, it's the same logic that people use nowadays. Everyone wants to. Play the blame game and blame the whole group instead of call out the ones directly who are doing the dumb shit. And that's what happens way too often. Like, everyone, like, one person does a bad thing. Immediately it's just like, oh, everyone, like, everyone who is just like this person is, is you know, is evil. And, you know, it's like, it, it's, if anything, this could be taken as a lesson to judge not the masses, judge the ones responsible. And I think that's something that a lot of people need to take account of and really grasp. Because it's they don't do that anymore. People are so quick to like go into whole groupthink mode and just be like, oh, this whole group over here, they're the ones responsible. Oh, no, this group over here, they're the ones responsible. It's like... I, are you going to blame the masses for the actions of the one? I mean, it's like, are we going to blame all Ishvalans for the actions of Scar? Are you going to hate Ishvalans now because of Scar killing all these people? Well, hopefully not, because he's a much smaller force than the force that, and what actually happened to Ishvala. No, I know. It's much and more understandable that Ishvala blames that country and, like, most of the people in it for what happened to them because it was literally well, yeah. a freaking genocide that was carried out. It was. Mass genocide. It was It was literally a culling of that entire seg- sector of people. They basically eradicated, like, they eradicated a whole, like, group of people. And now, I would say, right now, there's about between 5 to 10% of them left. Mm-hmm. Think about that. Think about just imagine if you woke up tomorrow and you found out that the entire uh the entire population of this one of like Japan was cut down to just 5 to 10% of what it was because of a mass genocide or something like that. That would be terrifying yeah. to think about. And it's something that I think, you know, it. What was carried out against Ishval, Bradley deserves the brunt of the blame, because we know that there was now like a reason why he was doing what he was doing, in terms of a semi ulterior motive. Because where he acts upon the orders of father, I mean, he obviously committed that genocide in Ishval and on father's behalf, but why? That's the question that we don't know the answer to. Yeah, and why has he why has Gar never encountered Bradley? Like I would say, well, given the battlefield is such a huge thing and also Bradley probably never participated on the battlefield in Ishval. He instead let the soldiers and the state alchemists do their work. And I guarantee you, he basically was just standing idly by at a distance and watching from like a hill, from like a mountaintop or a hilltop, what was going on, and was just like, very didn't well. They sh- didn't they show that at one point? I believe so. I believe that they just showed him watching. Hmm. And I would also say the other alchemist who deserves the brunt of the blame, Kimberly, because of Kimberly's just. Yeah, the Just direct attack of, on his family. That like, killed all of his family, save for him. And that's the reason why Scar has a scar. And also has his brother's has arm. his brother's arm, too. His brother's right arm of destruction. Because that's what his brother was talking about. This arm acts as for destruction. This arm acts to reconstruct. And where... He, he basically deconstructed it from himself and reconstructed it. it onto his brother. Yes. And that is that requires it, it just shows you how much faith his brother had in him. Mm-hmm. To give him that and not only give him that, but 
also give him that book, which contains all of his research. And honestly, I just the amount of layers you get <clears throat> with each individual character. I mean, you come to understand why they're doing what they're doing, although you don't 100% approve of their actions that they are taking. It's it, it's great storytelling. Mm -hmm. Once again, why I, I love this show so much. But, I love how Ed, like, explained to Winry, like, why she couldn't kill him. Well, that her was hands... really good... Yeah, well, her hands are made for giving life, and yeah. honestly, there's too few of that. Like, of, like, true life givers in the world. Ones that wish to put the world back together instead of blowing it to pieces and, and lashing out and hurting each other. And I really wish that... It were yeah more people would be healers, but unfortunately, we just live in a world where people are just just set to throw venom at each other for the most part. I hate to say it, but mm -hmm. anyway. Oh, I was gonna say so. She's a left arm. Yes, <laughs> she's yeah. she's a reconstruct, whereas Scar, as of right now, is a de like purely deconstruction, as is most like of the. Of, like, the people and the higher-ups in the military. Because for them to go as far as they did in Ishval, I mean, that's all that they probably were focusing on was de was destruction. But, anyway. I wonder if oh. Winry was able to change Scar's perspective in some kind of way. Because he did recognize that, like, he put himself yeah. in their shoes well, in a way and saw... Ed as his older brother and then saw himself as Winry and yes. him as Kim Kimberly. Kimberly, yes. Yeah. And perspective changes a lot with people. I mean, especially when you are you leave your mind open to change. And while I think Scar's mind is very much closed off to change, yeah. I still think there are things that can make an impact on him that might might turn not turn over a new leaf but might help him but anyway i think it's time for us to hit that old dusty trail thank you all very much for tuning in this was full metal alchemist episode 22 oh come on backs in the distance so we'll see you in the next one everybody peace